what does newton einstein quantum physics and adi shankaracharya have in common we always think that spirituality and science are very different things we assume that philosophy and the scientific world view are always going to be different but can we find a common ground between philosophy and science in this video we will uncover the different layers of reality until we understand the ultimate reality and we will understand how each of these philosophers and scientists were trying to understand and make sense of this complex reality the advaita channel is about consciousness and conscious creation here we explore vedanta and various other teachings from india to understand the nature of reality and to consciously create our lives at level 1 let us understand the physical laws newton's laws now we are all familiar with newton's laws of motion they apply to our physical world from the movement of a football to the huge spacecrafts everything follows these laws and they abide by these laws and all of these laws make sense at the physical dimension now before we go ahead let us briefly cover the premise of advaita vedanta and how it looks at reality as per advaita vedanta the entire universe and everything that we see is one reality it is one infinite consciousness that appears to be many in another way if we have to look at this we can understand that that one infinite consciousness has expressed itself in infinite ways in infinite dimensions in infinite levels from the most subtlest to the most grossest that one reality that one consciousness has manifested at different levels this is where it gets interesting each of these scientific theories makes sense for a particular level of reality for a particular level of consciousness now this physical reality when we study it of course the newtonian laws make perfect sense newton's laws describe the physical world we see around us motion gravity forces the tangible observable aspects of reality newton gave us a framework to understand how things move and interact in our physical world so all of his explanations are relevant for the physical aspect of reality that which we see all around us but then let us go to level 2 which is a little more subtle this is where einstein comes in and he gives us the theory of relativity he explains how matter and energy are one and the same einstein explained the deeper or the subtler aspect of reality his theories explain a different level of reality compared to newton he showed us that space and time are interconnected and that matter and energy are the two sides of the same coin his theories expanded our understanding to a more subtle level encompassing the vastness of the universe and the speed of light but even his theories fail to explain the quantum reality let us now proceed further to level 3 which is the quantum reality which quantum physics is trying to explain quantum physics is a study of tiny microscopic particles it is the study of the nature and the movement and the behavior of electrons protons and neutrons which are the tiny parts of an atom at this level neither the newtonian laws make sense nor the einstein's theories none of these can explain the behavior of matter at this subtle level so what we can understand from this is that reality is very complex reality 
exists, existence exists at different levels, at different dimensions. While one theory or one law makes sense at one level, it need not explain reality at all levels. Now, quantum physics explores the behavior of particles at the smallest scales, revealing a world where particles can be waves and where probability governs existence. This introduces a level of reality that is not just about certainty, but about potential and possibility. Now, with this, let us go even deeper. At the most subtle level, let us explore the teachings of Adi Guru Shankaracharya and Advaita Vedanta. Advaita Vedanta says, Brahma Satya Jagat Mitya Jivo Brahmaivanapara, which means there is one absolute reality that is Brahman or consciousness, and everything else, the universe, the physical reality, all of us is an appearance in this consciousness. There is one underlying reality that is in and through everything. This is the primary teaching of Advaita Vedanta. And Vedanta also describes this consciousness or Brahman as Sukshma Sukshma, which means it is subtler than the subtlest. So, Vedanta basically is the study of the most subtle aspect of reality. While different scientific theories and laws explain reality and look at reality at different levels, what Vedanta talks about and what Shankaracharya talks about is the most subtle aspect of reality. And this is very important as per Shankaracharya because the Upanishads say this knowledge the study and the understanding of Brahman is most important because by understanding this, we understand everything else because this is the source, this is the most subtle aspect of reality. Once we understand the subtlest aspect of reality, everything else will make sense. We can understand the rest. This is what the Upanishads say. Now, what is this subtle aspect of reality and how can we go ahead and understand it. Now, first of all, we need to understand that whether it is science or philosophy or religion, whether it is a philosopher or a scientist, we are all trying to understand this reality. But we are approaching this in different ways and at different levels. Understanding the most subtle aspect of reality is philosophy. And I think science will soon come there. Because truth is truth. Whether it is science, whether it is philosophy, ultimately, when we search hard enough, we are bound to find the truth. But this truth, this ultimate reality, cannot be grasped by the sense organs as per the Upanishads. This fundamental truth of reality can be only found within us because sense organs, by their nature, are limited. If we look at this infinite reality, if we look at this infinite existence, we only perceive one aspect of it due to the limitations of our sense organs. We can understand this in this way. An owl perceives this reality in a very different way. And a dog is sensitive with respect to different range of sound which we are not aware of, which we cannot sense. And different animals and different birds have different capabilities in terms of their sense organs that we do not have access to. This tells us that our sense organs are limited. So with these sense organs, it is impossible to grasp something which is infinite because the sensory systems are finite. That which is finite can never sense and understand something which is infinite. So, a different approach needs to be taken if we have to understand the most subtle aspect of reality. This is the premise of the Upanishads. While the scientific world is focused on the external reality, on the grosser expressions of consciousness and grosser aspects of reality, Vedanta focuses on the most subtle aspect of reality. 
and it says we need to transcend the body transcend the mind and the sense organs to find the truth and experience the ultimate reality this ultimate reality is brahman or consciousness and the fundamental framework that vedanta gives to actually understand this and grasp this is first the purification of the mind our mind needs to be subtle sharp and pure to digest this and to understand this and we can achieve this through devotion through karma yoga etc and then rigorous study of vedanta shravana manana and nididhyasana the listening to and the understanding of the teachings of vedanta and then manana is about deeper understanding and thorough understanding of these teachings and then nididhyasana is about contemplation meditation and it is about living this teaching through this system we can grasp the most subtle aspect of reality this gives us absolute fulfillment and freedom from suffering as per vedanta because through this understanding we understand that everything is one and we are infinite at the deepest level so all our fears with respect to death with respect to poverty with respect to competition everything fades away through the knowledge of the self this is the significance of the teachings of vedanta now this video was simply about how science and philosophy are trying to do the same thing it, they are all trying to explain to us the nature of reality in their own way but through this video i wanted to express how the teachings of vedanta and the approach of vedanta is very different and very profound because it is the study of the most subtle aspect of reality which is consciousness or this existence itself now if you are interested to pursue vedanta through a community and if you want to understand conscious creation which is about understanding the essence of vedanta and living and creating our ideal life in alignment with this truth then check out the link in the description to understand more about acs and conscious creation and next you can check out this video that we had made on how consciousness can be looked at as the source code of reality so you can check out this video next and i will see you in the next one subscribe to advaita to wake up shivoham